In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to rank number one on AI search engines like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Perplexity. This is so, so important because the first time since 2015, Google's share of search has dropped below 90% because more and more people are turning to AI alternatives and Google's even rolling out Google AI mode. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through five steps that you can follow to rank in AI search. These are the exact processes that I've used to rank clients at the top of AI mode in Google, AI overviews, ChatGPT, and I'm gonna be revealing it all for free. Now, I appreciate all of this change is a little bit scary. However, right now, I believe it's a golden opportunity because if you look at this, the interest over time of ChatGPT is comparable to where Google was in 2015. So you are early, do not panic, and I'm gonna walk you through the blueprint of how to get found now. So the first thing that you need to be doing is still focusing on traditional SEO. Like people are throwing out terms like geo, LLMNO, SP, I don't know, all these different terms. At the end of the day, traditional SEO is still so, so important. And the reason it's so important is because AI search engines rely on traditional search engine for information. So if you don't rank on Google and Bing, traditional search engines, you're less likely to get found in AI. I'll give you an example here. I typed in best Squarespace SEO agency and my tool and agency came up first. And you can see here that there's a number of different sources that it likely pulled through from Bing. So if an SEO space wasn't found high up in Bing, it would be less likely to be found in AI. So you need to be doing traditional SEO to be ranking high on AI search engines. And a little bit of a stat that I like that really emphasizes that is 52% of all the sources cited in Google AI were also on page one. So they're in the top 10 of search results, which means if you want to boost your visibility, getting on page one is a must. Now, I'm going to walk you through a few ways that you can do this. You can feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to focus on traditional SEO, but these are the core fundamentals that anyone needs to get right on their website. So the first thing that you need to do is find the keywords that your target customer search for and incorporate those naturally on the pages that you want to rank. Secondly, you need to be writing great content that showcases your expertise and your experience. You have to remember that AI has no personal experience of its own, so it will pull from the experience of others by looking at what other people are saying on traditional search engines. So you need to make sure that you write great content. This boosts your AI visibility and also SEO. Then I want you to get backlinks from other sites in your industry to yours. The more reputable those sites are, the better because this boosts something called your domain authority, which is a score given to your website that deems how reputable you are on the internet. The higher your authority, the more likely you are to rank for more competitive keywords. So that is a must. Fourthly, I want you to make sure your site is incredibly easy to use and navigate. It has to be easy for Google, AI, and users to find exactly what they're looking for. Otherwise, it's like putting a handbrake on your visibility, holding you back. Fifthly, you need to make sure your technical SEO is nailed. You can use a tool like SEO Space to get an SEO health score. There's just tons of those out there, but you need to make sure you nail your technical SEO. And sixth, and finally, and this is something that I see a lot of people do wrong, do not switch off your visibility in AI search engines. On different CMSs and website builders, there's actually the ability to block AI crawlers. This is it in Squarespace. You can block known AI crawlers from your website. Make sure this is not checked. You do not want to block the crawlers from visiting your website because that will massively hurt your visibility. Now going on to the second thing that I want you to do, and that is optimize for what AI is specifically looking for. And believe it or not, you can actually go to AI search engines and ask what it looks for when providing a recommendation for your product or service. Let's say, for example, you're a plumber, you could go to AI and ask it, what do you look for when recommending a plumber? And then it's literally going to give you a checklist that you can follow, a brief that you can apply on your website or your client's website. So head your preferred AI search engine Ask what it looks for when recommending your product or service. List down what it asks for, ask further questions if needed, and ensure those things are specifically added to your website as plain text so AI crawlers can understand it and then recommend you in results. The third thing I want you to do is audit your visibility. Now you know a little bit more what AI looks for when recommending your product or service, I actually want you to go to AI and ask what it knows about your brand and look where it pulls that information from. 
For example, at my business SEO space, I can ask AI search engines, tell me about SEO space, what do you know? And it's gonna give me all that different information that I can compare against the checklist that I made earlier. Once you see that information, you can then start to understand, is what's being shown how I want my brand to be perceived? Is it checking off the things that you found earlier when looking at what AI looks at when providing a recommendation? If it doesn't, then you need to go out there and edit those sources. And just to give you an example, here you can see I asked ChatGBT, tell me about SEO space, what do you know? If I wanted to boost my visibility, what I would do, I would ask AI search engines, I would say, what do you look for when providing a recommendation for an SEO tool for Squarespace users? It would then essentially give me a checklist and I can compare that checklist to what AI knows here. And if anything isn't correct or I want to change what AI knows, I could go to the sources that are shown here and I can either edit them myself or reach out to those websites in order for them to edit what they say about my business to influence what AI knows about our brand. You can also do this for your competitors as well. You can say, tell me about competitor name. It's gonna tell you what it knows about that competitor and also give you a list of sources. You can compare those sources to yours or your clients. And if there's any websites that you're not on, you can do your best to get on those so you're at least as visible everywhere that your competitor is. So auditing your visibility is crucial. Now to make your life a little bit easier, here are some places that I've seen from working with tens of thousands of websites, AI consistently goes through to understand things about your business. The first is your Google business profile. Make sure the description in your Google business profile is really rich and checks off all those things on the checklist, especially the reviews on your Google business profile as well. You wanna provide an amazing experience to your customers, encourage them to write reviews and ideally mention the things in your checklist. Reviews on industry review sites, so for example, SEO space is a software. The software review sites like G2, Captera, the Chrome store that we're listed on and we encourage people to get reviews. And if you audit your visibility there, that can be a great starting point, i.e. specific review sites for your industry. Business directories, think Yelp, Crunchbase, TripAdvisor. Look how your business is listed on those, if it is and if they're relevant. And then finally, social media profiles. So to get started, you go through all of those and you ensure that the descriptions in them reflect your brand and what AI and customers are specifically looking for when they're looking for your product or your service. The fourth thing is get brand mentions. And I'm going to start off with a bit of a question which will help you sort of set the scene for this. How do you get AI to suggest you or recommend you if it doesn't know who you are and it doesn't currently recommend you? Now, the answer to that is brand mentions. Brand mentions are basically whenever your business, your brand, your product, or a key person at your business is mentioned online in places like articles, social media, reviews, or other content with or without a link to your site. Those brand mentions essentially train AI to understand what your brand is and whether you're worth recommending. And in fact, the best mentions for boosting AI visibility are best of lists in your niche. So if you've ever seen articles or pages about the best Squarespace website designer, the best plumbers in central London, those lists literally work like jet fuel when boosting your AI visibility, because they actually train AI on who is the best and who's worth recommending. To give you an example, let's say I'm looking for a plumber in my local area, I'm in central London and I type this in, you'll see that 50% of the sources that are shown are actually lists. And those lists that list the best in any niche effectively train AI on who the best is. So if you're not in those lists, you're less likely to be recommended. So what I actually want you to do is go out, build a list of all those lists that you're not in, and reach out to those website owners in order to get listed. Sometimes this is as easy as just getting a business directory listing. Other times you need to pay to get listed and trust me, it is worth it. Because as I mentioned, this literally works like rocket fuel. And we actually did this for one of my clients, a Squarespace website designer. We created our own directories and our own listicles. And that's probably one of the main reasons that he's recommended as a top designer in his niche. The fifth and final thing that I want you to do is boost brand sentiment. Now, as I've already mentioned, AI search engines have no experience of their own. So they'll commonly look to the words and reviews of others to decide whether they should recommend a product or a service, i.e. they look at the sentiment of the brand to determine whether it should be recommended. Now, the most common way that this is done is actually via reviews. 
And in fact, if you want to rank in AI search engines, either locally or nationally, reviews is one of the two top ranking factors when it comes to boosting your AI visibility. So you need to really show that real people love your product or service and they talk about it online. For example, here, when we ask when recommending a Squarespace designer, what do you look for? One of the most important things is client feedback, consistent positive reviews, ideally mentioning communication, reliability, and results. So AI search engines will literally tell you what's needed in order to get recommended. Now, one of the best ways to do this, I recommend that you list your business on review platforms specific to your niche. So in software, there's G2 Captera for restaurants and experiences, the TripAdvisor, there'll be review platforms and niche platforms specific in your niche. I want you to list your business on there. Make sure you share a link to your past current and future customers for them to leave a review on that platform. You should also be doing this on your Google business profile. So you should get your Google business profile review link and you should begin sharing that with your customers and build that into your business process. Because the people that I speak to that really nail their AI visibility are the ones that consistently get Google reviews because it builds a foundation of your visibility to help AI know who you are and recommend you. Other things that you can do include displaying your reviews on your website as plain text. AI crawlers often don't render JavaScript. So by adding reviews as plain text on your website, rather than relying on third-party code, this actually allows the AI crawlers to ingest that content, understand what people are saying about you, and be more likely to recommend you. You should be encouraging UGC and working with affiliates to share the great thing that your business does to get the word out there to AI search engines should engage in Reddit forums, which not only rank really well on Google, but are often used as a source in AI search engines and spend time generally just where your clients hang out in order to spread word of mouth. The last thing and probably the most important thing, to be honest, you need to be providing an 11 out of 10 product or service, of course, because ultimately one of the best ways in order to get people to talk about you is to light them with your product or service. So treat that as the foundation and everything else should be the layers on top to ultimately build your business and your visibility. There you are, everyone. That is a complete guide, a five-step walkthrough of how to rank number one in AI search engines like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Google AI. That's essentially my AI optimization checklist. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.